It seems that we all have at least one Baofeng in our shack. They are so cheap and handy that it is hard to resist. In Switzerland, the officials have banned them for a long time. Now also the European Union. And in most other countries, we are not allowed to use them for transmitting. This video shows why the Baofengs are banned and if my newest buy is a legal replacement. Hello wireless enthusiasts. Here is the channel with the strange Swiss distortion in the signal, with a new video around wireless and other exciting stuff. Make sure you subscribe if you do not want to miss the following emissions. As ham operators we are responsible for not emitting unnecessary signals. Most important are harmonics, which are emitted on the multiples of the primary frequency. Here I have the German regulations, but I assume that the US and other regulations are similar. The harmonics of a 2 meter 70 cm handheld must be 60 dB smaller than the original signal. As simple as that. But how can we measure these values? It's relatively simple. We connect a spectrum analyzer to the antenna connector and press the transmit button. In FM, the full power is constantly emitted and we get the power in dBm. dBm easily can be translated into watts. 5 watts equals 37 dBm. But wait, if we look at my spectrum analyzer, we see that it's only rated up to 30 dBm, which is 1 watt. And those exclamation marks have to be taken seriously if you do not want to kill your instrument. So I need an attenuator with at least 10 dB. Then I should be below the 30 dBm. But maybe I have a 10 watt Baofeng. If you believe the Chinese suppliers, they do exist. Better add a little more attenuation. We could use this 30 dB attenuator. But we must pay attention to another fact. These attenuators only support a particular power. And these small SMA resistors for sure would not support the expected 5 watts. So I take this 5 watt attenuator. It seems to be big enough. But it only has 10 dB attenuation. So I have to add another one. This time I'm lucky. Because after the 10 dB attenuation, we only have 0.5 watts left and we can use any of these small attenuators. I use this one because my spectrum analyzer uses N connectors. Now we have to adjust the scale for this 30 dB attenuation. And we are good to go. Full span in my case means up to 3.2 GHz. I start with the original Baofeng UV5R. I need this SMA adapter to get to the signal. If I key it up, we see 36.58 dBm on 145 MHz. And we see three additional harmonics. The biggest at roughly minus 10 dBm, which is only 46.5 dBm down, not the 60 for legality. We do not have to add the other two to see this handheld must not be used without an additional filter. At 70 cm, it outputs only 35.3 dBm. The second harmonics is at minus 12 dBm too. Also here 37 dB and failed. Let's look at the next Baofeng, the UV82. It only outputs 35.6 dBm or 3.6 watts. And its second harmonics on 435.2 MHz is at 3 dBm or 1 milliwatt. Horrible! On 70 cm, a similar picture. 35 dBm output or 3.2 watts and the bigger harmonics at minus 9 dBm. Weak power on the primary frequency and too much in the harmonics. It even has a harmonic around 3 GHz. 7 times the primary frequency. Horrible too. So let's have a look at my new Retevis RT85 which seems to be the same as the TYT UV88. The rig itself can be considered as a Baofeng knockoff. It offers pretty much the same features. 
It also cost me below $40, including shipping and a programming cable. A typical Baofeng pricing. At 2 meters, it has an output of 36.5 dBm, close to 5 watts, and no visible harmonics up to 3.2 GHz. That is how it should be. Unfortunately, during key up, it emits two strange frequencies, one below and one above the primary frequency, but just for a fraction of a second. What about 70 cm? The output power is only 30.4 dBm or 1 Watt. But also here we see a minus 12 dBm signal at around 3 GHz. Not as bad as the Baofengs, but still not legal. Unless the antenna would not emit the 3 GHz signal. So let's check it. If it had a lousy SWR, it would reflect this signal and increase the distance between the good and the bad signal. What would you expect? I use this Nano VNA V2 plus 4 to measure the SWR. And we see what was foreseeable. The antenna has an SWR of 1.24 on the 8 harmonics. So the hope the antenna solves our problem does not come true. So also this handheld is not okay. Checking my Anytone DMR radio, I found the same harmonics at 3 GHz. Now I became insecure and said to myself, if anybody is legal, it is my expensive Japanese IC705. And here is the result. Also the IC705 has a very similar peak at around 3 GHz. Now I feel insecure and have a closer look. These signals are not precisely at 7 times the VFO frequency, only about and they move with the VFO frequency, but in the opposite direction. If the VFO frequency moves up, this spike moves down. Looks like a mirror frequency, but I'm sure somebody with much more insight can explain what happens. Until then, I would declare the Baofengs as illegal. There the result is obvious. The Retevis is legal on 2 meters, and if we can explain the peak at 3 GHz, the Retevis, the Anytone and the IC705 are legal also at 70 cm. Except for the very short signal during key up of the RT85. Or all my devices are illegal on 70 cm, including the IC705. So I really hope I made a mistake during my measurements. That is all for today. As always, you find all the relevant links in the description. 73 to everybody, and please consider supporting the channel by using the links in the description. See you in the next episode.